And I just got a notification from my friend doing uh, some streaming on his channel right now. So you can tell me how far in advance I record this thing. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother doing that thing because that thing, I don't want to fight it. But I'm just going to roll on through in my spinny ball of doom. Yeah, I'm trying to lightning armor just in case. Thank you. Now, yeah, I'm not going to bother doing anything with you. Oh boy, one Metroid is the only thing in this area. I don't like the looks of that. I do not like the looks of that if there's only one Metroid in this area. That must mean that I was, yep, I'm probably right in that there are bigger stages we're going to be going into now. That last area was like, okay, going to get all the, the weak little ones out of your system. Now we're going to step up the hard difficulty ones. Uh, lock on to that. Okay, so this... Okay, this does that... No, I'm thinking... No, maybe we actually do have to go up this way. And I'm just being stupid. Or... Not? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what I'm, I'm supposed to swing over there and use a spider ball to get over. Yep. But first I actually have to get rid of this guy. See, I'm slowly figuring things out. Slowly, but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Yep, this is definitely the way we're supposed to go. Charge door. But I want to get rid of you first, because I want some help, and... You know what? Let's bomb jump up, see what we can get. Let's just... Actually, is... There we go. So what's up here? Uh, okay. We can't do anything up here yet. That's a three-eyed monster door. Which means there's probably some goodies behind it. Okay, so... Does that mean, like, the, the split triple beams in this game? Or do we get some sort of thing that will allow us to bypass that. I don't remember what the name that they had split beam was. It was like a spacer, I think is what it was called. I think that's what it was called, the, the triple beam with the spacer. Not sure, because I've only like seen someone play Super Metroid once. But, let's... Okay, so... Okay, this is... It's an ammo restock, not an energy restock, but... Okay, what... Is this... Okay, no. So you can't get through those with the, the burst barrage. So I don't like that. I, what is going to let me get past those? I want to... I want to know what it takes to get past those things. I, uh... What the heck? Wait. Oh. Oh, those things like deplete all your Aeon energy. What... What kills them? Okay. So they're... Those are jerks. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, note to self, don't fight those things. Can I, can I freeze them? Okay, no, I can't freeze them. So, those things disrupt Aeon energy. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm a... Oh, come on. Freaking... Can't... And we can't even come this way. Okay, so... So, what am I even supposed to do? Uh, that was... Again, that's why I don't like the grapple beam. Because it automatically turns... It doesn't... 
have any offensive functionality. But, you know, I guess it, at least the good news is that I know there's nothing really up here other than a, a missile recharge thing. So, I don't have any real pressure to go explore up there. But, when am I... Well, at the very least, now there's a teleporter, so... So I can at least, if I need to, get out of here or come back here with some proper equipment, but... But... I can't do anything. Because there's just... Well, actually, there's that fire room, I guess. Maybe that's somewhere I'm supposed to go? No. There we go. No, I... No. I can't use... Why can't I use my spider... What? What the... What the heck? That was... That was weird. Okay, I guess... Is there something? In... Come on! It was like, is it like messed with your controls? Those things are really annoying. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with them too much. Okay, definitely Metroid up here. Definitely there's a Metroid up here. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage, thankfully. But, okay, no, that's... So we literally can do nothing up here. So... I guess the point is just to, like, see these guys and know that they're annoying. But I, I'm probably just gonna fill, I'm gonna fill this stuff in on my on my map just so I can have it be, hey, we have stuff here filled in. There's stuff up here. And I'll get rid of this for the future. That way we know that there's a thing up here. Can't do anything with this yet. This game wants to be a jerk. But I gotta figure out how to get rid of those things. So I do wonder what... I, I do want to know how we get rid of those things. Because those, like, growths on it... It doesn't look like any of our weapons are harming it. So... Which means we probably need some sort of other weapon, like maybe super missiles or something like that. And yeah, I do just want super missiles because I want to have more powerful weapons. But I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, I, I mean, well, I know I'm supposed to go down because that's the only way we can go. But you know, I mean, other than going down, this is a puzzle, and I like that. I'll actually, I'll go save. Because just in case I die, I don't want to have to re-go up there again. Because we can't go up there, but I want to make sure, like, everything's done. But getting past those, like, crystals, that I wonder what we do for those. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? That, that little robot thing is going to be over there, so I can just escape over here. And there's... We activated the teleporter already, so we don't have to worry about that. But now... We just want to come down here. Charge door. This is the... So this is just more purple area. We cannot do anything with this yet. Which means this is the only way to go. And... Again, this background just look... This background looks so pretty. Like, look at those, just those crystals right there. Oh, boy. Okay, and we're getting the Metroid reading right now. 
DS does not inspire confidence. Nope. Okay. I definitely need to start grinding up, uh, like, stuff from these things. Just because of that. Alright, uh... I mean, I'm glad that we now know where we're supposed to be going for the Metroid, but actually... The Metroid signal was over... The Metroid signal was over... Uh, to the right. Well, it was up, so I'm willing to bet that we have to go up for the Metroid, which means... Here is... Means that is not the direction I want to go because I want to grind up, get some ammo, get some well, health. Not ammo, but like I want to get health and Aeon energy before I go on. Oh, uh, and we have the Spazer. Okay, so now we can actually do that door. Let's see what the Spazer does. Spazer Racer. The high output Spazer beam fires three beams at once. Uh,. Oh, is that... is that it? Ooh... So does this, like, triple my damage output? And... Okay, so I... So that's how we get past them, is we have to use the Spazer. Good to know! So that also, uh... I guess... Does that... does it increase my damage, though? Because if it doesn't increase my damage... I actually... we'll have to test that. I do like how it shoots out, because it looks like it's just three beams of the... It does look like it's just three beams of the... Uh... Yeah, that definitely must increase your damage. Because it's... Yeah, we do have a damage increase now. Which is very good. So I was actually wondering if there was going to be any sort of damage booster. I know the plasma beam does more damage, but I know that's also uh, something else entirely. I know that's like its whole thing is that it just does more damage. But now, let's get rolling up these sides, because now that we have more damage, we can start doing better stuff. Oh, okay. So that's not what we're supposed to do, unless... Unless this is... Is this the way we're supposed to be going? Because, like, we... Because you can, you can hear that the Metroid signal scanner is over here. It's going off over here, so this is probably the way we're supposed to go, but... Oh, I'm supposed to, like... I'm, I'm probably supposed to freeze that thing jump on and then use that to get up the platform. See, I'm learning. Actually, uh... Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Uh, no. Oh. Or not. I'm not supposed to go this way. Uh... Okay, so... I have to freeze. Oh. There we go. And of course, it's just a missile upgrade. Why am I just getting missile upgrades? I mean, I'm okay with it because I... I mean, I'm okay with getting more missiles, but still, I want... I want super missiles. I guess technically missiles and super missiles, I guess they're both missiles, but... I mean, super missiles are better... There we go. So yeah, the Spazer definitely does damage. Does definitely do more damage. Which means, now that we have the Spazer, we can now pass through some other doors. Which means we can go up here now. I swear, if this whole area is just dedicated to, okay, here's the Spazer now, that'll be a bit annoying. Actually, we can now go and grab... I wonder if actually you need the spazer to beat these things. No, okay, so no, the spazer does not beat these guys. They're just jerks. Jeez. 
Come on. Those things are obnoxious. I really hope we don't fight more of those. Then again, we probably are going to have to, but at least now I got out of that place. But now, uh, if we... You know, I'm just going to go this way, because if I can go through here, I can now get access to that room and see what goodies it has for us. And, uh, did, yeah, just bomb jump up. Bomb jump, bomb jump, bomb jump, bomb jump. Roll up. Like a fruit. And... Beezer! This Beezer is so cool. I'm so glad that they actually... They... Give me missile upgrades. Okay. Alright. I take your missile upgrades and I tolerate them. Because they mean more destruction for the Metroids. And I'm hoping, eventually... I mean, I know I'm going to get super missiles eventually. It's just, they give you them as a... Like... You can see the super missile icon on some of those build on those, uh, those blocks. You have to have super missiles to destroy some of them. It just... When do I get them? Let's see, I wonder, does, does this increase my barrage? Oh, it increased the barrage. So we have, like, super Gatling gun of death laser cannon. This is going to be fun. This is going to be really fun now. But, uh, right, uh, DS is now on red. Yeah, my, my, my DS, I'm fairly certain the, like, the battery is either busted, like, the battery is not really that good anymore, or that it's due to the way that I, the charger is, or just because I'm having it running 24-7, it's not good for it. Like, it's just, well, of course, they were running 24-7 is not good for it, but that the charging... That because the thing is running, it's making the battery life run through nor uh, quicker than normal. So, how do we get into there? Oh, we have to go the long way around. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely the way we have to go. But... Okay, that's also a heat room, so this is definitely... Metroid scanner is not going nuts, but this looks like a Metroid room. I'm, I'm just going to be safe. Okay, that is lava. Okay. The floor is lava here. Come on. Get me out of here. Oh, this is... This is not fun. Oh... Okay, so I'm still. So this is also a way to get out of here. Nope. Oh, you suck. You know what? Um, I'm just gonna use a long one. There we go. Yeah. So you don't really even need to use the grapple beam that much on this thing because they actually give you range for the longest one, for the furthest one. I mean. So yeah, we don't actually need to do the whole swingy thing anymore. But okay, that looks like a bigger one of that thing. But now we can actually go. Wow, yeah, we are just destroying these things. Now that we can just go through it. But we're not getting the Metroid reading anymore, which makes me think. Uh, what the heck is that thing moving in? That thing is a giant living organism with those crystals on its back. That's cool. I hope we don't actually, I, I'm glad we don't have to, like, to fight some of those things, because, like, those things just look pretty. They, it's a background pretty-looking organism. I do not want to destroy things that look awesome. Come on. Come on, Spike Face. Uh. Scan. Okay, so, yeah, so we are definitely supposed to be going this way. Yeah, so, scan pulse again. Oh. Why can't I... There we go. Why can't I scan for some reason? Okay, so there definitely is stuff for us to do explore more of. But not in here. 
so which makes me do wonder what is the next so where is the next metroid because the beeping was over there but i guess maybe i go around and then we can go find it i'm glad they don't make you fight i they faked me out so much of that lava because i thought oh we're definitely gonna fight in the lava room nope they don't make us fight in the lava room but we do get the spacer which is gonna help hopefully yep yeah, this, this spacer is already just proving its worth as a weapon. Just going through these giant bug hordes. I mean, after all, this is another bug hunt. I do like the, like the parallels of Alien that they have with this game. Like this game in particular is really paralleling uh, Alien, Alien harder. Whereas like the Metroid is already like an organism that is very similar to the Xenomorph, but. But in particular, like, this game has a lot of similarities to Aliens. But now, I mean, honestly, I kind of find it funny that they've never really had a good Aliens video game. They've never had a good, they've never made a Metroid movie, but yet the two are pretty much one and the same in a lot of ideas. But, okay. Okay, this, you know, I'm not... I'm not going to go fight this thing if it's here, because I want to go down here see if there's something for me. Maybe there's going to be some up... Uh... Uh... Okay. Okay, so... That's probably, like, a big stage. Like, uh... For continuing the Xenomorph analogy, probably, like, a Praetorian Guard or something like that. For, like, comparable for Xenomorph stages, that's probably, like, big, big thing. I don't really want to fight it. Oh, oh, wow. So this is just like energy grinding right here. Nice. So, no. No, you're not going to get me. No. There we go. Now we have full energy and full everything. Now we can roll our way out. But this makes me wonder. 